Hey guys, for today's video, we're going to be doing more of these bully stories. Um, we left off last time over here at Pokemon Story, so we read this story last time. And now we're at Lissy's story. And check this out, I'm over here. This is me! Except the face is a little bit different, but I still look cute. I look awesome. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on and go to the story. Okay, so what does this say? Reading, text evidence, a type of literary device that appears in different categories of essays and in the form of quotations. Figurative language words or expressions with a meaning that is different from the literal interpretation. Wait, why are they, ta why are they talking about that? I want to go home, it's almost time. What was that shy girl? Speak up. Yeah, talk a little louder. <gasps> They're making fun of her because she's shy. Like, I, in real life, I'm really shy and I don't talk too loud. I, a ton of times when I'm at restaurants and stuff, people are like, can you speak louder? Because <laughs> they can't hear me. But they're actually bullying her for that. That's just messed up. Are you scared? Oh no, it's the bully. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, thanks. What do I say? Just ignore them. They're like, not even worth it. I mean, look at this girl's hair. She has a mullet. This is not the 80s anymore. You need to change up your look, girl, because I'm embarrassed for you, okay? And this girl, she's just one of those girls that just like goes along with everything this bully says. So she's not even her own person. She just copies everything that this girl says and just goes along with it, which is very a follower and not even a leader. So she's pretty much just that. <laughs> Come on, are you deaf? Yeah, are you? Uh, I don't think she's deaf. I think she's just ignoring you because you are a bum and, you know, she is way better than you. <laughs> just saying. And like I said, this girl, she's just going along with the other girl. She has no personality of her own. She's just a follower. If this girl jumped off a cliff, this girl would probably follow because that's the kind of person that she is. Thanks, just walk away. Over the years, Lissy was always bullied. So when she finally got out of school, she started making videos of her experiences to inspire others. <gasps> Aww. Well, she turned out her turned her bullying into something positive to help other people, which is really nice of her. You know, that's a good thing. Oh, she started YouTube. Yes, 100k subscribers. Thank you guys. See, I feel like this is kind of like me in a sense because I did get kind of bullied, like kind of, like I said before, but um, you know, it's just, it was more so like, I feel like I would have gotten more bullied if my siblings weren't in my, in my school, but because they were in my school and they were pretty popular, I feel like people didn't mess with me as much. So yeah, but bullies just suck. I'm trying to look at what she's looking at but I can't see it. She's looking at some Roblox page. Now let's see the comments on my latest video. Huh? Hi, Lissy. I know you from school. Please give me a shout out. Uh oh, this is gonna be bad. I can tell already. Hmm, sorry, I can't give you a shout out. Yeah, just because she's from your school doesn't mean like, doesn't mean that she has to give you a shout out. That's just dumb. I hate when people do that. It's like, just because I know you doesn't mean that you have to, I have to give you everything that I have. You know, like, you gotta work yourself, work hard. This girl worked hard. She was Miss Shy Girl in school, and then she worked hard and got to where she is at. You can't just expect people that worked really hard to achieve their goals to just give you everything that you want just because you know them. That's messed up. The next day, Jan, uh, another comment? Wait, what? What comment? What was the comment though? I want to know. What? Come on, shy girl. Where is my shout out? <gasps> this girl is still trying to bully her even though she's YouTuber and she's doing her own thing. She's happy. She's, you know, she's helping other people out. It's those bullies from middle school. You know what? They are not even worth it to even think about. Just ignore them. Forget about what she's, what they're saying and everything, you know? You're better than that. They think they can get fame just like that. I earned my life. Exactly what I was saying. Like, this girl, she worked really hard. She went from Miss Shy Girl. I was Miss Shy Girl. And now I feel like I'm way more comfortable 
in front of the camera just like this girl and you know like people they just try to like take advantage of you just because they know you or whatever and like why would this girl even try to help her help them out they bullied her it's not like they were friends or whatever they bullied her so forget that I'm telling them no, they need to work for themselves. You go girl, I am proud of you for saying that. I didn't even need to tell you anything because you already know. Okay, so the moral of the story is consider others' feelings. And look at her face. Just looks so, so goofy, like tiny little eyes and a tiny little mouth. Follow your dreams. That's a good, also a good moral and work towards your goals. Exactly, so for one, don't bully other people. For two, follow your dreams and ignore what people are saying and don't let people take advantage of you, you know? That's really what I would say. Those are the morals of this story. I really like the story a lot. It's It really hit home because this is kind of like how I feel too, you know? Like I was the shy girl and I was getting kind of bullied because, you know, people were being really mean and they didn't care and they would always call people nerds and stuff like that um but you know now that it's cool to be nerds everyone doesn't care about that anymore and i feel like there's less bullying in the world because people are aware of that and yeah i don't know that's what i think anyways let's move on to the next story all right so we are at aura's story now let's see what her story is hey shorty what's up or should i say what's down ha 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 she is laughing like ha 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 that's the kind of face she's making uh she doesn't really look short at all actually she looks the same height as you but okay just because you're wearing a hat that doesn't mean that you're taller than her Ugh, i can't reach my books hashtag short people problems aka me <laughs> I can't re reach my books again. Will you ever reach them? Um, why do you care? Okay, go away. I'm gonna push you out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Ugh, fine. Only because I feel bad. Okay, so is she really gonna help her? I feel like not. Here you go. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> She's like, uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> well, gotta go, shorty. See you later. Wow, I wish I was tall like others. I can't reach anything. Hey, well, she was nice. She actually did help her out. I mean, she was making fun of her at first, but she still did end up helping her. So, I mean, you know, that was nice of her. The next day. <laughs> I love this, like, little face that they give the, the characters. <laughs> Oh, what is going on here? What is this letter? What does it say? Oh, it's n not even in English. This is in... I think this is Italian. But I'm not really sure, actually. Hmm, I dropped my homework under the locker. Ugh, thanks. Just grow up already. Hey, Shorty, you reaching for the stars again? Um, what? <laughs> I can't get it out. It's stuck. Huh? Well, it's already nine. Time for my next class. It's no use. I'm gonna fail. Well, this girl is tall. This girl actually does look tall. And then this girl is short. Hey, wait, I only see one eye. Okay, there's the other eye. I was scared for a second. What? Oh, no way, actually she said it in a nice way. She's like, what? I might be able to help. <laughs> I love the little one eye. <laughs> Just looks funny. How? I'm small and I might be able to reach it. Then do it. Help her out. <gasps> she got the paper. Yay, she got her homework. Okay, thanks. Hmm, got it. Oh, well, that's nice. She was able to help her out because she's short. Thank you so much. No problem. That's good. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. I got to get to class now. Well, now she's not gonna fail. Being small does pay off sometimes. I'll just enjoy it while I can. Actually, being, being small, being short is actually really great. Being tall also is really great. But yeah, like there are so many advantages for being small, like you can hide in places, you can um, reach things like she did that no one else can because pe some people are too big for that kind of stuff. And um, you know, like if you're tall, obviously you can reach things that are higher up and you're short, you can reach things that are lower. So it is cool to be short and it is cool to be tall. So whatever you are, and even if you're average size, that's perfect as well. You're perfect the way you are. Offer to help others. Be happy with yourself. That's a really good 
strong message honestly you should be happy with yourself give yourself a chance that's really nice i really like the morals of these stories it's so true though like you gotta be happy with yourself you gotta love yourself you can't expect other people to love you if you can't you don't even love yourself you have to learn to love yourself you have to realize that even if no one else loves you you loving yourself is perfectly amazing and that's all that matters to be honest so but other people will love you if you do love yourself and you're happy with yourself and you're a positive person i feel like you will attract other people that are like hmm, i want to be like that too like i want to be loving myself just the way that this person is loving themselves and i want to be positive just like this person is positive and then you're gonna have more friends like that too if you're always negative you attract negative people to you or you just don't attract anybody at all and you're just depressed it's not good to be negative do not be negative anytime you feel depressed or anything like that talk to somebody ask for help you know like try to talk to somebody about your feelings that will definitely help you out and don't worry about it because everybody does get depressed you know but you gotta talk it out try to be happy watch good things like watch positive things like fun things you know um, funny things whatever that makes you happy anything that makes you happy just do it and whatever doesn't make you happy just don't do that anyways well that is all for the video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new and make sure to hit the bell if you haven't already but yeah that is all peace out